The events depicted in this video are based on real incidents. The script has been created for educational and entertainment purposes only. The safety of passengers and crew members is of the utmost importance. Hello and welcome to Air Crash Chronicles, the channel that explores the mysteries behind some of the biggest air disasters in history. Top Accidental Disasters Civilian Planes Shot Down by Missiles Military forces around the world have tragically shot down civilian airplanes in several instances, resulting in devastating loss of life. These incidents are often attributed to misunderstandings misjudgments, and communication failures. Following the recent shooting down of a Ukrainian airliner in Iran, German magazine Stern highlights a few notable cases. July 17, 2014, over eastern Ukraine, 298 dead. A Malaysia Airlines, Boeing 777, en route from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur, flight MH17 was shot down by a Soviet-made missile. The missile was fired from a Russian 53rd Anti-Aircraft Missile Brigade stationed in Kursk, as later revealed by an international investigation. Both Russia and the pro-Russian separatists denied involvement. A trial is set to start in March in the Netherlands, with three Russian citizens and one Ukrainian being tried in absentia. October 4th, 2001, over the Black Sea, 78 dead during Ukrainian Navy air defense exercises, a Russian passenger plane, Charter Flight 1812, was mistakenly targeted and shot down over the Black Sea. The plane, operated by Cyber Airline, was hit by a missile meant for a target drone. The missile caused significant damage, leading to the fatal crash. Initially, Russian President Vladimir Putin speculated on a terrorist attack, but Ukraine later admitted its military's accidental involvement. The Ukrainian defense minister resigned following the admission. July 3, 1988, over the Persian Gulf, 290 dead. In this incident, an Iranian Airbus, a 300 flying from Iran to Dubai, was destroyed by two missiles launched from the American cruiser Vincennes. The ship's crew classified the plane as an unidentified Iranian airplane and attempted to communicate through the military system. However, the Iranian pilots understandably only maintained radio contact through civilian frequencies. The incident strained regional relations, and while the cruiser's captain was decorated by President George Bush Sr., President Ronald Reagan later formally apologized to Iran. In 1996, the United States agreed to pay $61.8 million in compensation to the victims' families through an international tribunal. On September 1, 1983, tragedy struck when a Korean Air Boeing 747 200 en route from John Fitzgerald Kennedy Airport to Seoul, was mistakenly shot down, resulting in the loss of 269 lives. The jumbo jet had made a refueling stop in Anchorage, Alaska, before continuing its journey south of the Kamchatka Peninsula and Sakhalin Island, both Soviet territories. However, a navigational error caused the plane to enter Soviet airspace. Without the pilots realizing, they had deviated more than 500 kilometers off course. Despite attempts to establish radio contact and the deployment of fighter interceptors, communication with the plane proved unsuccessful. As the aircraft returned to international waters over the Sea of Okhotsk, a Su-15 fighter jet fired two air-to-air -air missiles leading to the tragic demise of all 240 passengers and 29 crew members. Under international pressure, the Soviet leadership eventually admitted responsibility 
for shooting down the Korean passenger plane. The Soviets claimed that the aircraft had purposefully entered their airspace for reconnaissance without proper lighting. U.S. President Ronald Reagan condemned the incident as a barbaric act. The Boeing 747, flight number HL 7442, was previously operated by German airline Condor and served German tourists traveling to destinations like Spain and Thailand. The disaster in the Far East prompted the United States, the Soviet Union, and Japan to establish a collaborative flight tracking system over the North Pacific aimed at preventing similar incidents from occurring in the future. On June 27, 1980, a tragic incident occurred when a McDonnell Douglas DC-915, operated by Atavia, disintegrated in mid-air and plunged into the sea near the Tyrrhenian Sea Island of Ustica during its journey from Bologna to Palermo, Italy. Sadly, all 81 individuals aboard the aircraft lost their lives. The cause of this devastating crash has been a matter of controversy for decades. One hypothesis suggests that the aircraft was mistakenly shot down as a result of a military operation, potentially involving military aircraft from the United States, France, Italy, and Libya. Another theory proposes that the plane was targeted by terrorists and bombed deliberately. Despite extensive investigations, the identities of the culprits remain unknown. On January 23, 2013, Italy's highest criminal court concluded that there was undeniable evidence pointing to the aircraft being downed by a missile. However, the individuals responsible for this horrific act have yet to be brought to justice. 